Hello and welcome back to Sports Indies. Uh, now I have to apologise, it's been a few weeks since my last video. Not a great start to the year, but we're going to get things started today with a, a big one. And this is AO Tennis 2 from Big Ant Studios. A brand new tennis game centred around the Australian Open. Um, and I've been playing a lot of it over the last week. It came out about a week ago. So um, I thought we'd just dive into this, have a quick look at uh, a play now game. Um, there's a lot to do in this game, so uh, we'll start today with this, and then if, if it goes well, then maybe we'll turn this into a, a let's play or look at some of the career mode and bits like that separately. So I'm going to start today with just a, a random game. This is uh, we're going to we're going to do this at the the Melbourne Park. Take advantage of the AO licensing. Um, we'll go. We won't go on the main court. We'll go on uh, one of the show courts. We'll just show off a quick three-set game. Um, I'm going to keep the difficulty on semi-pro. Um, I'm 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 pretty good at semi-pro at this point, so hopefully we won't drag this match out too long uh, for this let's try series. So if you if you're new to AO tennis. Um, this is obviously the second game in the series. The first game got off to a bit of a rough start uh, when it came out. It didn't have the best of reviews, but it got a lot of patches in the time since. And it, it turned into a really, really good tennis game. And this one builds on all of that, basically, um, and takes it to the next level. There's a, a bunch of licensed players, obviously, to go along with the licensed tournament. A few new players in this one, a few returnees from the, the last one. Uh, this, this little intro segment you get in pretty much every game. It's, it's, it's always similar. But let's get this started and you can have a quick look at how this gameplay works because it's quite different from some of the other tennis games out there. So as you see, uh, as I try and win the first point. There's a little rectangle that, that moves around in the opposite side of the court. Um, and that, that rectangle is, is how you place your shots, obviously. But it's more than just that, because you have to make sure you get the timing right on every shot in order to, to meet that little mark. So if you get things a little bit off, you have more chance of making an error. And that's really where the, the skill comes in. Um, and it feels a bit like a, a situation where you're sort of patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. You're trying to do all these things at once, and that means you have to put a lot of concentration into this game. Um, oh, that's a lovely shot. Oh, it's not. It's out. Oh. I thought I'd hit that okay, but apparently not. I'm playing on a small screen, so bear with me. Um, so, the if you knew, like I say, one of the things you'll probably find if you do pick this up is it's quite difficult to get used to initially, but once you've stuck with it for about half an hour, an hour, you, your skills start to improve very quickly and then over time you begin to really master it um, and, and start playing those really tough shots into the corner, the, the unplayable really for the opponent. But it takes time to get there. Ooh, that wasn't out. I don't think that was out. I'll do a challenge. Oh, it wasn't out. It was in. There you go. The challenge system works. The challenge system, you get uh, three challenges per set. Um, works just as it does in real life. You can press the two triggers and, and you can uh, call for a challenge whenever you feel necessary. You should be able to take this first game. Oh, always out. There you go. First game. game. Chillich. So let's talk uh, modes in this game. So, obviously, there's the, the normal play now, and you can also play online in single matches against whoever you want. Um, but the main sort of piece of this puzzle is career mode. And career mode's had quite a few changes. It's, uh, it's got cutscenes now, 
Um, it's got this reputation system. And it, it just sees you trying to climb the rankings as a male or female player. It's, 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 it's a lot of fun and it's something that I might turn into a let's play if, if there's enough interest. Um, you can also go to the academy and that's where basically you can get all the players and, and venues that aren't licensed in the game. You can, you can download other players' creations and just put them in like they were always there. And it, I've already found that to be really good. Um, I've got a bunch of venues in the game that look pretty authentic. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! I know it's hard to appreciate when you if you haven't played this, but to, to line that up in the corner and get it just timed just right is is not easy. There's some okay rallies here. You're not oh he is gonna get that. And he's put it out. Another thing I like about the career mode is you can set it to however many games and sets you want per competition so if you want to make it sort of realistic and have a full big long games then you can if you want to just sort of uh, get through it and get to number one as quickly as you can you can also do that and there's, there's a lot of room for maneuver the same goes for the game settings so if you want to play on a variety of difficulties there are loads available to you and you can also change this this is a crazy rally I have to say hang on Ooh, he didn't react to that well. No, it managed to beat him. Um, you can also change a lot of the modifiers. So if you want the ball speed to be different, if you want the assistance of your movement to be different, um, you can you can do all of that. So you can help give yourself a bit of a an extra boost, or even make things harder if you if you really want to. And I don't think you'd want to make things harder. There are so many difficulty levels in this game. I'm on semi pro, and there are so many above that. Um, It'll take a long time to, to master those, but maybe I'm just not quite that good. So that was the second game. Oh, it wasn't. It was 15 love here. I'm not keeping track at all. Just trying to talk at the same time. Ooh. Oh, he died for it. Not going to get that. Not going to get that. And we're we're pushing on a an easy victory here. Oh, definitely we are. Last point after four minutes. I should be playing on a higher difficulty. Oh, it's out. Delaying the victory a little longer. Oh, it's the net. And that's going to do it. Game, set, and match. An easy, Chilich. quick exhibition win for Chilich at the Australian Open. Very well done. So uh, let's let's wrap this thing up. Um, well, like I say, if you want to see more on this channel of, of AI Tennis 2, put a comment down below. We'll we'll definitely look at it more. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I play it a lot anyway, so. Uh, happy to record some more. Um, the game is available on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. You'll find it easily. Just uh, Google search it, go to Steam, go to the to Xbox Store, PlayStation Store, etc. And you'll find it easily if you want to give it a try for yourself. Let's let's get out of this. Get through the the loading screens. Something you probably should know. At least on console, I'm playing this on Xbox One. The loading screens are long. Um, I've already cut out some of the loading screens before uh, in this video, so you, you didn't get to see how long they were before, but yeah, they're long. Just before we go, let's have a look at the Academy, just so you can see sort of an idea of what you can download that other people have created and put straight into your game and use instantly. So here, you can see a bunch of, of uh, venues, Roland Garros, Wimbledon, um, and these are, were generally created in the first AO Tennis game but can be used in AO Tennis 2. I'm just going to go over to players so you can see some of those as well. Here's Andy Murray. 
if it loads. I don't think this one looks fantastic as Andy Murray. The, the, the Roger Federer has been made with something called Playface and I think that looks really good. Um, he's in my game. Um, and and you don't really feel like you're, you're missing out much by not having the licensed players because of that. So there we go. Anyway, that's AO Tennis 2. A quick look at a, a quick game. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.